Hello friends and welcome back to my home. If you are new here, my name is Christina and today I am going to be styling my hair vintage for a full week. So I have always wanted to create a easy vintage hair routine for myself because I really love the look of like 1940s, 1950s curls. And throughout the years I have gathered enough knowledge to know how to do it, but now I want to create myself a routine so that I can continue to do it throughout the week, especially because I have a baby and things get chaotic with all of my kids and it's about to be summer. So I really want to figure out how I can keep up my vintage styling of my hair while having kids, while being a busy mom, just, you know, the whole chaotic nine yards. And the first thing that we have to do is cut my hair. And then we're gonna dye it. So let's get started. Here is a quick little before of my hair. As you can see, it just needs a trim and the color is not consistent throughout because it's my natural hair color and then going into some of my ends that were bleached a long time ago. All right, so this, <laughs> this is what I have after. It's not a huge change. Granted, it's not a really big change. I left all the front layers as they are, and the front of my hair is slightly longer, as you'll see, than the back of my hair. I had my husband just cut it in a very subtle U shape, uh, because I don't want it to be extreme. Like if I'm wearing it down or out, I don't want a haircut that looks like it's supposed to be styled because day to day well I'm trying to change this but day to day I generally don't do my hair so that is the update tonight I will I will check in later tonight because I will have to set my hair and I will obviously share that with all of you so but before we get too much further Today's video is in collaboration with my friend Sonda Flor. Sonda Flor creates timeless classic clothing in beautiful cuts that suit women of all ages. Their production is ethically made, sustainable, and 100% linen. As someone with sensory issues, I especially appreciate the gentle luxury of linen on the skin. Here you can see I am wearing their classic wrap dress which has the most beautiful movement I've ever seen. As you know, I am currently breastfeeding, and I love that this dress works perfectly for that, and they have several other options that could work as well. As I work towards buying less and spending my money on higher quality items, I am so happy to say that I have several Sonda Floor dresses in my closet now. And one of my favorite small details is that all of their packaging is recyclable and plastic free. If you are interested in adding Sonde de Fleur to your closet, you can find my link and a code down below that they've kindly sent for my viewers to get 15% off. Thank you so much to Sonde de Fleur for sponsoring this video. Good morning. I absolutely changed my headscarf for the purpose of just being aesthetic. Um, excuse the sun, it's very bright over here, but I have to brush out my hair in front of the camera because I want to see what I'm doing. I'm worried about this one. <laughs> it kind of fell out over the night. I mean, it like is loosened up a lot over the night. So one thing that I'm hoping to accomplish with this week is getting my hair done by the time I have to leave. Let's just take that out. Eh, it's a questionable curl. I want to be able to get my ha hair done by the time I have to leave for school drop off, which I generally have to leave at eight o'clock in the morning. So it's not that early, but um, we are on a little bit of a time constraint, obviously. So I need to be able to either brush out my hair or style my hair good enough in the morning that I don't really wanna have to come back home and redo it. I don't like having to fuss with my hair a lot. But let's get these curlers out, see what we're working with. They actually look like they curled up very nicely. Okay, so unfortunately I have one curl that did not dry all the way. And I have a couple that still feel questionable. I can't tell. Um, but I'm just going to brush it out. And you know what, if it didn't set all the way, I can always do an updo. So...
All right, so for the one curl that didn't dry, I rolled it up and I clipped it and I used the hairdryer. So it's not gonna be perfect, but it's still, it's a quick fix. And I think that that little curl was just a little bit too like thick. It was a lot thicker than the other ones, so. As far as styling goes, uh, like getting it back from my face, I am just going to take this comb and that is what I'm going to do uh, styling wise, otherwise I am very happy with this. Okay, for day two, uh, here's the hair as it looks when I woke up and I just slept on it. I wanted to experiment with how it would look if I just slept on it and didn't try to preserve the curls. I decided to do a poodle hairstyle this day because it's a very, very easy hairstyle. It's one that's easy to put up, easy to maintain. It looks cute. It's really not complicated. All you need is a bunch of bobby pins and a brush to brush your hair up towards the top of your head. And then you are going to want to pin all the way around the crown of your head to keep your hair up and to keep your hair smooth. If you want to curl each individual curl so that everything is very defined, you can. But I kind of just grab chunks of my hair and pin them however it feels good. I am not particular about this. And I find that it looks good even if you're kind of a haphazard chaotic hairstylist like I am. You really don't have to be too precise as long as the edges look decent and there are no little random stringy hairs hanging out. Um, I just find that it's a very easy hairstyle to do and it's one of my favorite second to third day hair. Depending on how my second day is, it's one of my favorite hairstyles to do once my curls are starting to fall and they no longer look good just brushed out. So as you can see, I am doing a lot of just kind of fussing with the edges. The middle does not matter as much to me as long as everything is kind of curling under, but the edges I try to make look pretty decent. And then I decided to add a headscarf. This is one of my sheer nylon or chiffon scarves. I'm not sure what the fabric is. And yeah, that was day two. I really, really, really loved this hairstyle and I, I need to do it more. It's so cute. This, I, uh, potentially terribly slept on my hair this way, and so I am just taking it down from the poodle hairstyle of the day before and futzing with it to see what I have. Lots and lots of volume, as you can see. But for this day, I figured I would just do a quick bun and something cute with my bangs. I always try to brush my hair out just to see if I can get it to look cute while it's down. And here I am adding a little bit of pomade, but I decided that I didn't really like it down. I kind of tried, but it just, it just wasn't, it looks cuter on camera than it did in real life. In real life, it's just, it just wasn't quite there, so... I tried pinning the bangs a little bit and then adding a headscarf while my hair was down because I thought that might be cute, but my hair, the way that my hair falls does not look cute like this. It looks like poodle ears. So <laughs> I have never really liked wearing my hair down like that. So anyway, eventually I decided I would just put it up in a quick bun. I have thick enough hair that I can do this without a sock bun but if you want to you could roll your hair into a sock bun I kind of just let it be what it is it's a lot of fluff though I don't have super super thick hair but when your hair is curled and it's on the third day you have a lot of volume 
So I put it up into a bun and then I added a really pretty scarf. I pinned the bow as I always do. And that was that. This was probably the quickest hair day that I had. Um, and this is what I would do on a normal day. Even if I didn't curl my hair, I would still do this hairstyle. It's just not as voluminous. But yeah, that was it. Okay, so this is the morning after I reset my hair. Um, and I wanted to try rolling it up the night before and tying it up in a headscarf to see how well that might preserve the set. So I didn't film it because I forgot, but all that I did was I took the major chunks of curls. I will show you. So I took a chunk of curl. Oh, that did pretty well. And I just wrapped, rolled it up and pinned it to my head with a couple of pins. So we're going to see what that did. I'm really curious how this is going to look once I brush it out because I have never done this before but my lovely friend Lacey Fay, who most of you are aware of she um, she preserves her set for a full week doing this side note for those of you who are asking about Lacey she is doing well she's had a lot of stuff happen in her life and she did have plans to come back to social media, but it kind of just has never been the right time. So I don't know her personal plans at this point of time. This girl did not do great. Um, I don't know her personal plans to come back to YouTube, but um, I had somebody ask me and apparently it wasn't the first time they had asked me, but I didn't see their comments. But yeah, she's, she's doing well in real life, but I don't really know what her plans are for YouTube. So. This is where we are at with this curl situation. I'm going to brush it as I normally would, just with my Denman brush. Kind of see what it looks like after it's been brushed. Because if it looks cute, I might just leave it down today. I find for my hair, which is a little bit more resistant to keeping curl, that on the second day, I have to be happy with a much looser curl. I mean, I'm fine with that. It is also very fluffy. I'm fine with that, but some people want it to be more defined. It just depends on what you want. So this is after just an initial brushing. Um, no idea how it looks in the back, but it's very, very fluffy. <laughs> and Lots of volume. I really like how the front is. That turned out pretty cute. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna wear it down today. I <laughs> like the fluffiness of my hair like this. I like it. So um, I might just leave it this way. I don't know. I kind of like fluffy hair. I feel like it's a little more um, historically accurate to have fluffy hair. I mean, like all the pictures of my grandma, she didn't really have smooth hair. She had fluff, she had frizz, she had all of that. So could I tame it down a little bit? Probably, do I want to? Not really. I don't know, I think it's looking kind of cute like this. <laughs> This is how I slept with my hair. <laughs> so, um, let's see what we have. I suspect I will be doing an updo. So it's brushed out. And I think what I'm gonna do is a twist in the back and two victory rolls in the front. So. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna take a smaller section and I'm literally just rolling it and then on this side, I mean this little wave is really pretty. And 
the back, I'm literally just going to try to gather it all up into kind of a French twist situation. So nothing complicated. Well, I feel like that might look a little funny. This is all for grocery pickup. It might not look great, but like I've heard somebody say before, the back of my head is none of my business. Um, and this is where you could always cover it up with a headscarf or flowers, or I'm definitely gonna maybe cover up with flowers. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. It's, it's fine. Okay. As far as the front, I actually like the way these are sitting, but I know that over through, okay, not this one. This one. Could potentially be pinned right there. Okay. These are cute, but I know that they're just going to bother me. So, I am going to I don't know if that suits my face, but it is a very vintage-ish bang. It's a little bit messy right up here in front. Um, and then, like I said, at this point, you could uh, kind of zhuzh it up with flowers. I actually have a bunch of fake flowers over here. I thrift flowers. I kind of like these blue ones. That would be cute. Okay. Well, I don't mind it. I don't like the, uh, the part over here, but um, there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Well, I mean, I probably could do something about it, but I don't feel like doing anything about it. And this is the reality of real life vintage is that you don't always do things perfect and that's okay. I'm sure there were, why aren't these coming off like they should? Ow. I'm sure there were a lot of vintage ladies who had funky parts in the back of their head. Realistically, are all of my flowers on one side of my head? Oops. show you one last hairstyle that um, is good for wash day if you don't want to set your hair fully wet or if you just didn't have time to set your hair um, this is actually a hairstyle that my grandma I have photos of her in the 1940s 1950s with this hair and it's very easy and everybody knows about milkmaid braids or whatever you want to call them but I get asked about how to do them all the time and I'm going to show you two options the first one all you need to know how to do is braid the second one, you'll need to know how to French braid. Um, it's very easy. This is my go-to thing to do with my hair when I didn't want to set it or it's wet. It's a lot easier to do when it's wet. But first of all, of course, you're just going to want to do a standard, my elbows, okay, a standard middle part all the way down. I don't worry as much about how perfect the back of it is, but middle part your hair make sure it's all brushed through for the second part anyway um, and if you do not know how to French braid then this first one is for you it's so easy that I feel silly explaining it because I feel like everybody's gonna be like Christina we all know how to do this but I get asked about this hair all the time so you are going to need bobby pins and um, a couple of hair ties like so and you're literally just gonna start your braid about at I start mine because my hair is shorter um, I start my braid about here if you have longer hair you can probably start it lower um, kind of like the shorter your hair is the higher you need to start your braid so I'm gonna start mine right about here the one big trick is for one I'm just gonna have to pin my bangs once I get 
is to you start the braid but then you kind of make sure you're sort of pulling the tension upward so that you don't have a big bubble of hair here when you try to then pin it. like me this is where you want to pin them out of place and make sure the ends are not sticking out anywhere do this on both sides obviously okay that one pinned nicer and then I'm just gonna play with which one I want to be on top I think I want yeah, I want this braid to be on top so I'm gonna pin this kind of right in the path of the other braid don't worry about the sticky outy bits we will get to those with bobby pins. And then I'm gonna kind of shove this a little bit underneath and push my pins into it and fix the sticky outy bits. Okay, that is it. Uh, if you don't know how to French braid, super easy um, milk braid braids. If you know how to French braid, um, the version that I prefer because it keeps my hair, like it, it braids in a little nicer and it keeps my hair um, tucked better, I will show you the other method. First of all, I'm gonna get this part out of the way just so that I don't have any issues. And then if I tilt my head, okay, starting in the back, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm grabbing my regular three strands and I literally just French braid up my head. I really hope, yes, you can see this. Um, bending over really helps. I would usually bend over a lot more than this, but because I'm trying to film it, I am not. Um, make sure you pull everything as tight as you can. Okay, I'm gonna turn around. And I literally just French braid up my head um, until I get to about there, and then it's just a regular braid. A lot of people think that I have super long hair when I do this because the braid goes up. As you can see, it goes up the side of my head. But again, it's really, really simple if you know how to French braid. And I feel like this is the quickest, easiest way to just make my hair look neat and tidy and vintage all at once. And then do the same to the other side. pin if you've got bangs just kind of pin them I'm gonna test kind of how everything is gonna sit once the braid is up and then just like before you're gonna want to put it up over I like this version because it's a lot smoother like smoother of a braid look <clears throat> that is it um, I feel naked without earrings Thank you again to Sound de Flore for sponsoring this video. Don't forget you can check out my link down below and use my code to save 15% off of your purchase. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun styling my hair for a full week. That is not something that I normally do. Most days I have my hair up in a hair scarf or a bun and that's about it. But I am slowly trying to carve out more time to get myself fully ready and feeling pretty because it just makes life a little bit better. Thank you, as always, for being here. I hope that wherever you are, you are feeling safe and loved. And until I see you again, have a beautiful day, and thank you for watching. Bye!